All right. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night here from Las Vegas, Nevada. Hope you all are doing well and having a good day wherever you may be. We are here for episode 573 of the Cultivate Crypto Show, talking about Pulse Chain version 4 testnet, right? is launched as well as e-fiat, you know, getting a nice dip here along with the rest of the market, but still heading towards and beyond a dollar, as well as we're going to talk about Gala version two in May and what you need to know if you have some Gala um, around the market. But uh, we got our friend here in the, oop, we got there. <laughs> we got two computers, so we got some uh, audio things here. We got our friend DCC in the house. She. You got any more of that V4? I don't know. I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can go on the uh, test net. We'll show where you can do that today. And, um, you know, you can play around there. But, uh, yeah. yeah, I think the sentiment right out there in the Hex community, essentially, is right. test net. Yay. But. But. Right. Like, right. Uh, not enough with the test nets ready for mainnet. Like, baby, let's go. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's kind of an, I mean, it's kind of an interesting situation. I mean, obviously it's because the market's also negative right now as well. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, if, if Bitcoin was still at 30,000 or maybe went to 31,000, I, it probably would have had more of a bullish effect on people, but because right. Bitcoin's down $2,000, Ethereum's down like a hundred bucks or so, people are kind of like, oh no, it's just, it's, what's, <laughs> what's going on? Let's go to zero. Peter Schiff was right. As well as there's people, there's people kind of market selling hex right now for another shit coin right now. Mm-hmm. Not gonna, yep. I'm not gonna say. Well, and that shit coin's getting sold off too, so those yep. people are just getting dumped on, essentially. Hey, that's how the way of the market, man. The way of the market, man. They and you know, that's not just my opinion. I can literally show it on the charts here today. Can right? you please? Oh, I can. Hey. <laughs> Let the dumping commence. But um, no, I mean, you know, we're coin agnostic. People right. who have that coin love to see them make profit. But yeah, we're at this point in the market right now where we have a bit of a dip coming in, and there are. I will say we'll we'll show three scenarios for the current sixty day cycle. Right, and we'll give you what the most probabilistic is based on the last 24 hours of price data. We talked at the very end of the show yesterday um, with Black Ice. We were talking about the pricing. We were saying, hey, if we start going below a certain level here, um, then we'll get more dump. That uh, basically, if we go below 28, we'll start going below uh, 27 or down to like $27,000 Bitcoin. So um, we'll look at all that here today and. Um, yeah, just a public service announcement as we go into um, a lot of good talk about altcoins and very, very good prices that we can buy them at. Um, I want to give you guys just a, a shot here to jump over to uh, CryptoMindsetCourse.com. This is where you can put in your best email address, click the sign up, and then um, when the Crypto Mindset Course goes live on uh, 421, April 21st, Friday, right? Then you'll get an email directly to you um, telling you that it is live so that you can enroll. And then you'll get an email um, for the next five days until Tuesday so that you are aware that the Crypto Mindset course is available for purchase and enrollment every single day. That way we make sure that uh, all you guys who want to make as much profits as you can in Q2 uh, aren't left behind, right? So make sure you put your best email address here. We already have, uh, I think, let me go to the exact number. So I can give you guys an accurate estimation of all the new moon gangers who are looking to jump into the Q2 crypto mindset course. It looks like we have, uh, we're four shy of 500. So uh, 496 uh, moon gangers or moon gangers to be who have never taken the crypto mindset course before uh, will be jumping in here uh, for Q2. So, and that's in addition to the 10,000 plus people that have been happily served throughout the crypto mindset course, DCC and, and yeah. cultivate cryptos, different products and services. So uh, what are you most excited for in the, uh, the Q2 course, or maybe not, maybe it doesn't have to be the most excited, but also, uh, things you're just looking forward to. I'm really looking forward to having the whole gang back together. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. That's always the funnest. It's like, Hey guys, Time to take pro time to make profits and then yeah. take profits, you know, with the whole moon gang all at once. It's a beautiful thing. Right. Lord Gaines in the building, God of the charts in the building. <laughs> and um, you know, we're 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 really I mean, we're I was saying this a lot earlier because I was on Rolla Tomasi stream earlier today and I was yeah. really seeing it was like where where you really make a lot of money is being kind of counterintuitive. Oh, right. a lot, a the, lot. The rest of the market is crying. It's over. Bitcoin's under 30,000. Because everybody wants it to go back to 14. You know, they don't, yeah. which the last time we had that was in November of yeah. 20, uh, 2020, right? But let me ask you this, Charlie. Last time I was at 15,000. 14, who was buying? We were. The Moon Gang was. Well, DCA, baby. But these same Fudders, were they buying? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's going to nine grand, they're, bro. This is why they want to FUD, because yeah. they missed out and they're like, shit. 
the price is, I want the price to dump right now all the way back down to 20K so I can get a position. This is what I think, you know, yeah. even if they won't admit it, I think a lot of people won't admit that either on Twitter, like crypto Twitter. They're like, no, 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 no. Just we're in a bear market still, you know, recession coming. Yeah. It's like, yeah, recession is still coming, right? But right. at the same time, uh, you know, Bitcoin's four year cycles. Uh, oh, I'll show this a little bit later after we get through the memes, but Benjamin Cohen tweeted out the most retarded tweet today. What? <laughs> I mean, okay, so it's not <laughs> that stupid, but I'll say this, right? One thing, which is essentially he put out two dates, April 14th, 2021, April 14th, 2023. What happened on April 14th in 2021? Yeah. I mean, we got yeah. the, the peak, the, the peak, first the major peak of the, the bull summer, market, the summer, yeah. right? And that was when Coinbase launched its IPO. Yeah. But why is that not analogous to 2023? Because there's, I mean, there's really no IPOs. There's no nothing. There's no news events. Yeah, it's not a top. Yeah. And there's no news events like that right now. And then also, most importantly, it's not that phase of the four-year cycle. To me, this shows a little bit of disingenuousness or stupidity. One of the two. And the reason why I say that is, uh, you know, I, I, I say that just, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no hate towards Benjamin Cohen. He gives a lot of, he's very, very good at risk management right? He gives a lot of very good risk management information, but he's a little bit back in 2017 and not back, not here in 2023 when it comes to crypto. Got it. And so one thing I'll just say is uh, we're more analog analogous uh, to 2019, the right. beginning of the last four year cycle. And I know there's a lot of people out there right now in crypto and they were same with the uh, extended cycles, right? The, uh, what did they call it? The super cycle, the, su the super the cycle, or, or the rain, <laughs> not the rainbow chargers, but uh, right, yeah, yeah, it's, it's all those patterns, Suzu the, the, and the plan B's and shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. the uh, what do you call it, the three arrows capitals of the world. But yeah. here's the thing, right? Bitcoin's on such a like obvious, you know, four year cycle that no matter the current state of the economy, you can still rely on it based on Bitcoin's fundamentals, right? Right, and I just ever since Wall Street's come into crypto, there's been people who want to take that narrative out. I don't know what the reason is necessarily. I can make a few assumptions, right? Oh. But one of the reasons I think is, well, it's so obvious, right? That if you get people thinking, you know, too greedy or too fearful, take, take those two emotions too strongly right. and you throw them off enough, right? Where they'll forget it a little bit. Well, yeah. the wall street people think they'll basically get a little bit better price on buying and selling, right? you know? And yeah, I, I think also too, like, um, I think they get mad because it doesn't really respect. Like now, there is there now. Fed rates are different. Nor the Fed rates are different compared to other things. But like you could have crypto kind of bucking normal market trends and stuff like that. Because right. because crypto has pumped when the stock market has been kind of flatlined, kind of down a little bit. Oh, Obviously we, not crashing. Like the most of this year. Most of this year, and stuff, <laughs> right? And it's the whole thing too, where it's like crypto is very unlevered now, mm. extremely unlevered. So. Um, and really, I mean, we've had someone even like Arthur Hayes, who used to run BitMEX and stuff like that, was and saying there, there wasn't there wasn't dem enough, there's no demand for longing right now. Yeah, which but, is it, significant. Which is amazing, right? It's actually a good thing for the market. It means we're in a healthy phase of the market. And Arthur Hayes has had great information, mm -hmm. right? Say what you will about his past, but he's a smart guy, very smart motherfucker, and he's come back in this market um, and done very well. One of the uh, his uh, blog posts back in, I think it was. Uh, December was like, hmm, we might have a, a bottom here, right? And it's and it, him and a few other people, yeah. including us, right, were saying that at that time. Um, so it's one of those things where, you know, most influencers, I think, like you said, don't want to go against the grain. They don't want to be contrarian because right. it doesn't get the views. It doesn't get the clicks as much. Um, but it should because people need the honest to goodness truth, which is why we have the crypto mindset course, which is why we have uh, dollar cost crypto and cultivate crypto as well. And Art right here, Ben still keeps a heavy chunk of chain link a part of his altcoin portfolio. <laughs> Dang. Now Litecoin I can't shit. I can't shit on him too much because Litecoin Moses here still has a bag of Litecoin, <laughs> so I, I, I gotta I I, I I can't throw him on the bridge too bad for that. But uh, Litecoin happening coming soon to to a store near you. Actually, later this year, actually. What am I talking about? Later this year, we'll have the Litecoin happening and a magical thing called the Bitcoin happening happens mm. next year as well. What, what, what are we thinking about? Is that because um, I saw different reports to be March, April, May? Yeah, I think yeah. it's supposed to be around May, but sometimes it gets shifted like a month early. Got it. Yeah. Because that's what, with the Litecoin happening, I know that always happens. It's just like it's three months away and then it's like a month away. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. The Litecoin yeah. having right now, uh, yeah, the Bitcoin having is supposed to be May of next year. The Litecoin having is supposed to be, I think, the first week of August this yep. year. Yep. But yeah, if it shifts forward a little bit, that, that might would be, be July. 